Good morning, Form 3s. Uh, welcome back to our online lessons. Uh, it's been a very wonderful week and I hope everyone is safe. So I want us to switch today into writing and I'll focus on email writing. So our main uh, objective will be looking at both formal as well as informal emails. So let's go into what the lesson is about. I want us to look at anatomy of a good email, what makes a good email. Then we'll compare uh, what you need to do when writing a formal email and what you need to do on the other hand when writing an informal email. And we look at the differences and I'll take you through the phrases that I uh, important in writing an email you know you're not only doing this one f for the school but this is something that you'll carry into your life out there so without wasting much time let's go into email i know we've written emails and up here i've just started by the first page here you can see this particular copy from a uh, message html which shows you uh, the structure of our email interface looks like so that you can you go uh, to your email and opening your email addresses either hotmail gmail or microsoft all those then you can see what you're going to write so to here this is where you write your email if you're writing to more than two or two maybe more than one person two three four or many you can copy that cc or also copy to other people then there's the subject line here this is where you write what the email about then there's the body here where i've written this thing so this is the body so here you'll there will be openings of your email the body as well as closing okay so let's get started so what makes a good email it has the same structure here so this is the subject line the greeting and email body and closing. These are the four main important things. So you'll be doing it, but people do it a lot. The question is that do they do it the right way? What about the standards they do they follow? So let's look at what you need to do. So the subject line, this is the most important part of an email and people overlook at it. But when you go into the professional world, this is where you entice a person to open your image your, your email i mean so that particular message then they look at the line so you have to go straight is commanding so then people will be moved to open it but if you don't frame it well they would sometimes end up in this spam spam folder okay so check it craft it well so that you get it right it doesn't matter what those other things are but let your email be read when you send it out there the second part is the opener so these are just quick greetings to acknowledge whether uh, uh, if you if you you, you you are writing to respond or maybe you are the one initiating a conversation so you have to put a very very good opener to create a rapport then there's the body of the email so this is what you call the meat of the message so this is what you have to be very clear okay in this so that you achieve the purpose of your writing then you can get a good feedback so make sure that you do it with lots of clarity then the next thing is closing just as you want to start well you also need to end well so it means that you have to sign off appropriately the plenty of options which we look into it depends on how you started and how you're going to end okay now let's look at the two types of emails that we know the formal and informal so the formal this the purpose for business and important messages whereas informal just casual messages that we are sending the audience in the formal business or work colleagues, whereas informal, these are family members and friends. What about terms of 
style and accuracy, spelling, punctuation and grammar should be to the professional uh, level, very accurate. Whereas here, this friendly or sometimes the slang can be used there and smile is you can see that okay so but writing a formal e email don't don't use slang okay at the beginning and the ending of formal ones so the beginning you start dear sir dear madam then dear mr so and so dear miss so and so then to omit my concern and even if somebody's a doctor dear dr smith dear dr Adia, dear uh, uh engineer ismail etc so let's look at uh, when you're beginning an informal email there are no rules you can say hey yo what's up etc and maybe some kind of uh smileys can be put there okay now in the formal no contractions so contractions are like these he's so you have to write in full he is okay but here you are you can use contractions so i haven't seen him so you see I haven't here etc okay so let's move to the next level do's and don'ts okay in email writing use informative subject line then write the most important messages first it if you want to make it clearer you can even use the point to make point or bullet forms to make it what about uh don't use hello people do use hello or hi as subject line stop using that okay because it com literally it complicates nothing then don't bring about irrelevant issues how is your family doing did you eat for lunch what did you eat for dinner no no, no. stop using that then once you read an email please don't just take your finger to that particular delete button no you might need these particular emails in the future this is preparing you for your career then again don't use the whole words in, in, in full song avoid italics okay and lots of these particular punctuations uh, or exclamation marks and abbreviation which we don't on acronyms by the way etc but here just use simple grammar use simple grammar short sentences and you keep paragraphing clear for someone to be able to understand we don't want to start emails with niceties the meaningless opening uh, for example dear john i hope this email finds you well no this is not like a cliche we've heard it several times okay it just says nothing weirdly when for more email the most important part it means that you need to communicate you're not communicating go straight i'll give you some openings here just in a minute so uh, before you start the opening ask yourself these questions these are the questions you ask yourself okay before you start why am, why am i writing this email what do i want to tell my recipient what do i want them to do as a result of the email okay and when you get from other people also ask yourself who this person is what was the meaning of uh, what are they emailing about there's a subject what's important in this email do i need you or do i need to respond so those are questions you ask yourself so these are some of the stats if you are writing a uh, an email or later just say in reply to your email okay or later Thank you for your letter of May 14th concerning. So use this particular kind of phrases. Thank you for your letter. It was kind as, uh, of you to write to me. Writing an email and letters opening. These are very important. Then another thing that we also need to see is that I'm writing to inform you that, etc. So you can start this way. What about when somebody requests something and you want to deny a request you can have a statement like oh thank you for writing to ask about attending a conference in baltimore i wish i could approve your request what about an apology oh please accept my apology for missing the meeting yesterday i'm sorry that a medical appointment prevented my attending sometimes we do write to congratulate our colleague or friends 
congratulations for, on successful, uh, successfully passing the, the very exam you heard work has paid off. So if you're a lawyer, you know, lawyers before they, admit, uh, they, they, they get admit, admitted to practice, they have to do the bar examinations. Okay, what about invitation? Oh, you've been, you are invited to an opening of 2017 Fashion Fair on Sunday 16th from these. Okay, so like that. Then when you're responding to a complaint, let's say you bought some goods from my shop during this lockdown, then, oh, thank you for writing for, uh, th thank you for writing to us about your experience in the airport last week or maybe with our product when i bought about an agreement we can say that we are going to have summer classes then you can say oh i'm happy to confirm our agreement about the summer institute something like that so i want you to go and read i've given you lots of starting sentences depending on the purpose so your eyes should be on the purpose on the purpose of your writing what about closings? Okay, these are very, some of, just as the opening is important, so is the closing of emails. Thank you for your help. I really appreciate your help or assistance. Or oh, thank you once more for your help in this matter, etc. Then you can say, if you want to make future uh, focus or contact, or oh, I'm looking forward to hearing from you soon. I look forward to seeing you. I'm looking forward to your reply. So look at that. So expression to show that you want to help. Oh, if you can be of assistance, oh, please do not hesitate to contact me. So this, these ones are showing them that you want to help. If you require any further information, please let me know. Then please let me know if you have any questions. Then expression showing them that you want to, okay, help still. You can use some of these. I hope the above information above is useful to you please contact me if there's any problem let me know if you need anything else drop me a line if i can do anything else for you so you see these are some of the things that you do but overall in a nutshell i need you to be clear on this that a good email fast should be clear use short simple language and correct grammar number two make it brief people don't have the whole day reading at your email they have a bunch of things to do so they cost you nothing even if you need to separate and send two different emails right so why write about a bunch of topics in one so just pick one particular subject and write one email on it if you have several subjects you can send as many emails as you can okay explain your main reason for writing the first paragraph people need to capture that one and be specific about what it's about what you want start by asking yourself what you want the person to do as a result of your email okay so and make it brief number two have a strong subject line so business people any other people at workplace people busy they don't want vague subject line so the rules is simple this is what you do you have four use in writing headlines unique agent and useful your email subject should definitely be useful and ultra specific very apply the other two use only when it makes sense so just be specific for example if you are applying for an English uh, teacher position at our school just say application for English teacher post very specific don't go in so many things then be polite it doesn't hurt to be polite you need to don't be rude always look using lots of exclamation marks at all cups yeah it, it doesn't make sense don't be emotional even if you're annoyed if you're writing a complaint letter you have to calm down fast then focus on what you're writing so remember the emails may not be only the person you send them or someone may press forward so if you write so many people it people will judge you now you write this so don't be rude create a right tone for every email if you are contacting a person for the first pass time 
this can ma can ma can make or break the relationship so use good tone and the right language most of you will be getting to the business field no matter the profession you choose but look at how you address people you create a nice tone then you bring an opening and ending so if you're making contact for the first time in a formal way say dear sir or dear madam or to whom it may concern no say yo and no that one useful maybe friendly uh, purposes okay so that's what i have for today what i want you to do is there's further reference here and further reading on your form 3 textbooks pages 73 to 75 this particular book pages 73 to 75 i want you to read about the tips of writing good emails then when uh, in the near future we'll have to do practice in class otherwise i want to wish you a very good time at home and always remember to stay safe and read this is the time that you have the opportunity to cover the, what you haven't covered so do lots of revision and be a better person at the end of the pandemic otherwise stay safe and see you in our next lesson